Um, I don't mind with height because I'm tall. I'm five ten. So if I stand up, I'm like, oh, you're super skinny. Yeah. What up, what up, what up? This is Mike the Philosopher here with another rank, and this one is from Kendra G. Check this out, y'all. Diego. Dizzy Edgar, how old are you? 27. 27. Do you have any kids? Yes, I have a set of twins. A set of twins? How old are your twins? Three. Three. Why are you not with the dad? Oh, set of twins. 20 twin twins. <clears throat> Man, if I could strategically find a woman to, to pop out some twins for me, that would be very dope. Um, it's just double the, you know, double the, um, double the kids, at, you know, less the chances. I mean, not that I don't enjoy having fun making them, but if I could find a woman who like to pop out some twins, that would be dope. So twins, okay, I see you. Let me say this, was that was that a little too much for y'all in the beginning of this video? Just let me know. Put it in the comments. But I'm just I'm just keeping it real. Okay. Ain't nobody asked you nothing. <laughs> you sound like you bourgeois anyway. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> um so um it was a fling. It wasn't, you know, serious, like so you was just out here flinging with no condom? <laughs> yeah, she was. Um, you know, look, adults do that. The man, the man is just as guilty as that is as she is. You know, slinging it and flinging it, and <clears throat> and they hit the jackpot with twins. Get that? That's crazy. Uh, you know, some people who try can't even have one, but. Some people who just wing it get two. That's, you know, I, I have to say this too. Um, she look a little hard in the face to me. Is it just me? I'm not saying she's ugly. I'm just saying, you know, if she didn't have twins, I would be questioning <laughs> some stuff. I'm just saying. She look a little hard in the face to me. You got the wrong idea, my friend. Hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> but let's go in. Mm. Actually, um, okay, yes, but it was just with him. It was just with him. I was so do you guys, do you co-parent well? Yes, we do. Okay, you co-parent well. All right, Danny, San Diego, 27, has a set of twins. Um, what do you do for a living? I work in healthcare. He works in healthcare. When's your birthday or zodiac sign? My zodiac sign is Aquarius. Aquarius in the building. All right, let's get into it, Danny. Danny, what kind of man? Huh? I, I'm sorry. I'm reading the comments. And yes, I'm in the hotel room. I'm celebrating my best friend's birthday. So we about to hear it. Happy, Happy birthday, best friend. Um, <laughs> Stop moving if you can, Danny. Hey, baby. Happy birthday. Thank you. Hey, the friend is cute, too. I like the dimples. Like like the chocolateness of her. Uh, the hair looks pretty good too. Happy birthday to you. Um, hmm. I'm just I'm just trying to figure which one I would actually take. I don't know. It ain't as easy as you think. I'll put it that way. Let's go in. You welcome. All right, Dave, let's get into it. What kind of man are you looking for? <laughs> he turned on the comments. I can't start reading. Him. Okay. <laughs> you can't request for the comments to be off. She wants the comments off. So that is a request. And you can request for the comments to be off. And that is a request. So let's get into it. What okay. kind of okay. What kind of man are you looking for? I'm looking for someone that's loyal, that know how to treat me right, um, respect me at all times. Um, someone that's caring, 
because I'm a very caring person. So I like to give all of my energy into that person and I will suspect the same in return. Um, my okay. dating life has been so great. Um, I've been played, used, abused, all you name it. So I'm looking for the right one for me, hopefully. Oh, okay. What's your deal breakers? Deal breakers, I don't mind kids. But if you've got more than three baby mamas, that's a problem. Okay. So you want not a mul not multiple baby mamas. Right. Okay. This is Danny. The comments are off. She requested comments off, so I'll turn them back on when we're done with her um her presentation interview. I don't know what I call these. But let's keep going. Um does he gotta look a certain way? I'm sorry. Does he have to look a certain way? I prefer them tall, dark, and handsome, but, <laughs> you know, I like my black men, so I prefer for you to be black. Um, you have to live in California. I'm not with Africa. Like, I can't just go overseas to go see you. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> you gotta be a Cali. Yes. Uh, you know, ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, she wants to stick to the brothers. She can't, uh, apparently, she got something against African brothers. Uh, I think it's more of a distance thing. But I'm wondering why guys don't take her serious. And um, I guess we're going to have to dig more into her personality. I don't want to judge too much, but it just seemed like, I don't know. She seemed like she has some, you know, I'm, 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 I'm again, I take in all information. I'll be checking for Adam's apple for real. For real, I, if y'all if y'all doing that, let put it in the comments. If if I'm wrong for that, put it in the comments. But she had twins, so I'm not really tripping on whether or not she's a female. But she just kind of got this I don't know this vibe about her that's not all together feminine. Max, that's not a fair comparison. RuPaul is more feminine. <laughs> And, I mean, that's just my observation. I know she's a female, but it's like, and, and this is not a shot, but I could, I could picture a drag queen looking like her. I just, I just can't. Um, and that's something that's kind of a, like with Kendra, I wouldn't, I wouldn't question whether or not Kendra was, you know, you know, had a change or something like that. I wouldn't question that. Maybe it's her voice too. It's not just her look, but it's also her voice. It kind of sounds um, draggish. And I'm not knocking the, the, the LGBTQ community at all. I mean, do your thing. But me as a guy who's dating, I have to take all things into consideration. And I, and I just wouldn't rock with that. So I would just say um, it's something about her look and her voice that's coming off a little too it's not feminine enough you know what i mean um but i'm not saying that she's not a lovely woman and uh you know a good a good woman to be with a good catch or anything like that but it's 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 something just in the back of my head so you know it's my job to let y'all know what i'm thinking so that's that's what i'm thinking that's why i'm at with it um i i i need her <laughs> I kind of want to say I want her to, you know, take a couple estrogen pills and, and kind of lighten the voice up a little bit. But um, that's being a little too harsh. I know that. I already know that. You ain't got to put that in the comments. I already know that. But mm -hmm. it's just something like like other guys might have no problem with it. So, you know what I mean? But as as far as me and what i'm looking at those are some of the things that are just in the back of my head like um you know she's she i want her to sound a little bit more feminine so, but anyway let's go back in um i don't mind with height because i'm tall i'm 5'10 so you know, if i stand up i'm like oh you're super skinny yeah um, so 5'10 that might explain some things as far as the pitch of the voice okay um and that's what i'm getting i ain't, I ain't saying i ain't mad at the body okay I'm not mad at the body um 
again, if she didn't have twins, I would be like, uh, 5'10", uh, the face and his voice got a little, little bass in it. What do we have here? You know what I mean? I'm now she's standing up. She advertising the body. I'm glad she did that because normally I can't really get a good view of their body, but her body looks looks good. It's it's real. It popped out twins. So, and she popped out twins, and she that's you know slim. That's 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 nice. That's real nice. I can't even front. But let's go back. Skinny boy. You like model. You like the model type. Yeah. In the you think you're like a model? I mean, a model is a compliment. Models get paid to be models. Well, I, I hear this, but it's not for me. I don't like to be... She probably got too many tats, and she probably not part of that lifestyle, and she probably don't even have that confidence to think that she's a, a model type. I, I know where Kendra is coming from, but uh, she, I don't think she has the confidence to think she could pull off modeling, um, and probably too many tattoos everywhere. I think I've seen a couple tattoos on her chest or whatever, but I can understand why she don't think that she's a model but Kendra is just saying you're a model type. Your body is a model type, but just because you're a model type don't mean you will be a a good model because you got tats all over the place. And you know, uh, you know, agencies want to want a clean canvas for the most part. Some of them, some of them do have tattooed uh, models and stuff like that. But that that's a niche um, category. You know what I mean? But let's go back. Yeah, so when it come down to modeling, I feel like it. No, no, I didn't say you had to be a model. I said you're like a model type. Right, right. Oh, well, thank you. Okay. Um, so you want somebody taller than you? Um, not technically taller than me. Like I'm okay with like people that's no shorter than me, but not too short. So anywhere between five seven to six foot four, I'm okay with. I find that interesting because a lot of women who are shorter than five seven want a six foot guy, but it's the tall woman who wants a five seven guy or taller. I find that interesting that she, the tall chick, is more flexible than the short chicks, and that kind of speaks to something like, you know, I have this theory that, you know people either want two one or two things they want what they got or they want what they uh don't got but want so in other words if you're a short woman you're going to want a tall guy just to give your kids a chance to be tall uh but if you're a tall woman you figure you got the genes to make them tall so you don't really trip off the height you know am i am you know let me know if I'm I'm on to something here. I just feel I just figure that you have those two choices: something that you got and you like, or something you don't got that you want. And that's how you choose partners. I think she feel like she's tall enough. She don't need a partner who's super tall, cause I guess her thing is not having tall kids or whatever. Um, five ten. That's a pretty that's a pretty nice height too. Um, I'm over six feet, so, you know, I would still be taller than her. But um, it's good to see that she's flexible with the height thing. Let's go in. Okay. All right. Does uh, What's the age range? Age range has to be 29 through 42. 29 or 42. Um, you said he can't have kids, right? He can have kids, yes. Do you, does he have to make a certain amount of money? No, you don't care about that. Okay, when was your last relationship? Uh, four years ago. Was it your your? Well, was it you? Was in a relationship with your child's father? No, father? Okay. no. got to four years ago. Here, here is the thing. <clears throat> I think that um, and this is going to sound kind of crazy. But just by her face and her voice and her height, I, this is probably the first time I'm going to say this, but I do think men are intimidated by her. It's not that she's bad looking. 
it's not that she don't have a nice body, but men will look at her like, uh, do I want to risk it? Do I want to take, do I want to take her, you know, to the bedroom? Because am I going to get surprises? Like she, I think she is kind of intimidating and this is probably why she's, she says she's been having a, 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 you know, a bad time. Her, her dating life hasn't been good. It's not because she's not a bad person. It's not even that she's not a, you know, beautiful woman. It's that men probably is sensing a little extra T, extra, extra testosterone in her system. It's not her fault. I mean, she's 5'10", so she's probably taller than most men. What What is it, The 5'9"? Is that the average height for men, 5'9"? It's like <laughs> she's going to be intimidating to a lot of guys. She just is. And that is going to be something that's um, hard to overcome for for, for guys. They're going to look at her and they're going to be like, oh, man. Um, I, I don't want to risk it. I really don't want to risk it, you know. But, again, that's probably why she's having tough time. If she, I think if she took some uh, estrogen pills, maybe, and just dropped the voice a little bit, I think it would probably do wonders for her. I, that's just a suggestion. I'm not. I'm not saying that she should do that, but I'm saying if if I was her, if I, I would probably try to fix it in that way, because it's probably not her personality. It's probably not uh, her as a person. It's probably just her giving off a little extra testosterone, and guys picking up on that. Let's go back in. Go. See it in San Diego, twenty-seven. She's a set of twins. Um, she works in healthcare. Is an Aquarius. You got to answer this question, but I'm gonna ask: When was the last time you was intimate with someone? Mm, four years ago, when I conceived my twins. That was the last time you had sex. Mm -hmm. So, just curious: Are you waiting for a relationship? Yes, I am, because I notice once I give my body up to men. They tend to okay. I got what I want, and be done. Are okay. look a little obsessive that I can't deal with. So I prefer to wait until I know for sure if that if this guy is the right guy for me. That makes sense. That makes sense. All right, Danny. Um, why do you think you're single? And her name is Danny. I mean. <laughs> Come on, like if you if you a guy and you doing the math, right? Okay, five ten. Okay, her name is Danny. Okay, um, her face, her voice. You gonna think that that is a trans trans transvestite? You 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 just you just gonna think that just because all of those things are coming together again if she did not have the twins i can't even say i would be um exempt from that i would probably be thinking that well i am thinking that right now like oh a, a five ten chick named danny like and she kind of looked like this and i'm checking for adam's apple again i'm not saying that the woman is not attractive um but as a guy it's my duty to take in all information that's all i'm doing i'm not i'm not berating this young lady or anything like that i'm just uh from a male perspective and because she probably don't even have the answers as to why she's not getting quality men or getting a lot of men and i'm trying to give her some perspective on that because um I mean, this is a male's point of view. This is just a male's point of view. I mean, that's why y'all tuned in, right? So, um, I'm just keeping it real. Um, and, and I'm trying to do that without, you know, 
demeaning her because she's a human being, beautiful human being, probably got a beautiful personality. She probably is not aware of the disconnect with other guys, and I'm 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 telling her what it is right now. Um, she should probably take some estrogen pills. You know what I mean? It could probably lighten up her voice. It could probably uh, bust out some, um, you know, chesticles, okay? And it could probably even shape her up even more than what she is right now. Uh, soften her up a little bit uh, because she probably got some extra tea, extra testosterone. It just is what it is. Um, I know that might seem extreme, but... You know, it, it, it's a result that could po possibly work. Now, Kendra asked her, why is she single? Let's see what she say. I'm single because I have twins. And a lot of people see me as having twins as a scare. So they see me as, um, which I've heard this before, before, you know, you guys come, up, come on the comments. I've seen it before with people look at me and they're like, oh, okay, like you look like you don't have any kids. And then when I tell them I have kids. It's like, oh, you have twins? Uh, that's a big commitment. I read past. So it's been hard to deal with that and I need someone to understand that my twins will come first. So if I need to go, I need to go. Uh, yeah. That's yeah, I mean, that's honest. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm happy that you are sharing with us because these are the things that, you know, of course, single moms deserve love, right? So no one's ever saying that. But the challenge does become like some men because and this is what I, I've had conversations. I always say women talk to the type of man that you want to date, right? And a lot of times the guys, they explain it to me like as a man, I'm going to be a provider. So I have to answer the question, am I willing to provide for you and your children, right? right. Um, but I mean, you're definitely a beautiful girl. And listen, ladies, we're going to keep it 100. Beauty does help. It just does. You know, I don't make the rules to this stuff. I tell y'all, just have conversations with men. I mean, not you just can't just be beautiful, of course. But it is an important quality. So, um, your twins are going to be poor this year? Mm-hmm. Okay. And you're right. Your twins will always come first. So you got to just meet a guy that's willing to deal with that. But you said you're okay with guys that have children, right? Yes. Okay. So, maybe it's a guy that already has kids that can understand. It'd be dope if you met a guy that had twins already, right? Um... Danny, why would a guy be lucky to be with you? I'm very fun. I'm very outgoing. I like to enjoy a person's space, a person's time. Um, I'm, I'm very caring, so I cater a lot to the my significant other. Oh, happy day. Wow. America, how about that? Um, a lot of women. That's dope. I like that. Uh, you don't hear that every day. I cater to my significant other. What? Say less. Okay. That's what's up. Um, and look, she is a nice woman. And she kind of got the double-edged sword. It's, it's, you know, first guy's probably be taken back to see if she's... I mean, look, she's 5'10". Y'all don't understand. That's tall for a woman. Right? So... She's 5'10", so it's, it makes sense that guys will be like, uh, and then they hear, you got kids? That's probably why they ask, you got kids? Uh, because she don't look like she got kids, so they asking, uh, that's a, for the, for the ladies out there, you know, if a guy straight off the bat asks you if you have kids, he's doing a, he's doing a female check on you, okay? He's doing a female check on you, meaning he's checking to see if you're a woman, for real. Now she said, "Oh yeah, I got twins." Uh, well, you know, now we got a, a different type of dynamic. I don't want to say problem, but we got a different dynamic to deal with. Oh man, she got twins, and they're young. Okay, they're only what about four years old now. So I went from being um, thinking that this is a, a, a man to daddy daycare. Uh, you know, again, none of this is her fault at all, because if a guy didn't think that she had kids, he would probably still go the other route saying, oh, man, you you know, this might be a dude. So 
she kind of got the double-edged sword and it's not fair to her. She's either a man or she's or it's daddy daycare time and she's really getting put in boxes and she's probably a lovely young woman and she caters to her man say less okay she probably dope um would i date her probably probably she could pop out my twins probably you know let's go in and say that's crazy for me to do but I just like to show how much I'm appreciative of you and I think I would be a perfect match for someone hopefully did you and the guy that you had a child with a driver try to make it into a relationship yes we tried but it was not gonna work um, gonna yeah we feel like we do too different he was more of um, a controlling and abusive um, department, so is it? But um, so yeah. Is he there? No, my friends, but they don't know. Well, girl, you on the whole internet? Everybody watch you. If they don't hear you in the room, they go and watch they, you back later. They not gonna. Huh? They not gonna know. I'm not gonna. They're gonna me. watch, girl. You're you're on a live internet show. This is on. <laughs> this is on, the world is watching. They what don't. Do you mean they're not gonna know. They don't follow you, so they won't know. Okay, if that's the if that's there the must be Africans. You want to believe, the other but, chick looked African, okay. so and then she mentioned Africa. All right, so African men. So. You comfortable telling strangers, but you ain't comfortable telling your friends. What? Uh, yes, I am. But it's a deep. It's more to it. All right, all right, hey, all right. So, Danny, let's do it. This is Danny. You want the guy to be in California, right? Yes. San Diego, twins. Is an Aquarius, works in healthcare, shows day 29 and 42. Um, let's do it. Give them your Instagram name. My Instagram is, is Danny, the number three, the letter X. So it's I, Danny, I, so it's I T S D A N I three X. Correct. All right. Well, thank you for coming on the show, Bo. Thank you. All right. Danny, the 510 model esque. Uh, mother of twins okay interesting young woman um let me go ahead and rank her check this out And there you have it, the Kendra G interview. Um, look, you know, I think she was a nice young lady. I just think that, you know, there was probably some reasons for us concerns from other guys. And, you know, I just think that uh, the reason probably why she's not getting a lot is due to a couple, you know, aesthetic things. But all that being said, let me go ahead and rate, rate her face. As for her body, I thought her body was was nice. I mean, 5'10", you know, nice shape. She's looked like she's in shape. I gave her body a 7.5. As for her mentality, I thought her mentality was, you know, pretty, pretty good, pretty on. Um, you know, she did have a mishap with this, you know, jump off dude, but I'm not trying to judge her too much off of that. So I gave her um, mentality a 6.5. And there you have it. So what do you think, man? I mean, did I get it right? Um, again, I would, it, it, if I was talking to her, I would, you know, just suggest taking a couple of estrogen pills you know, just to knock the voice down a little bit, soften some things up a little bit. Um, I mean, I don't know. Uh, otherwise, otherwise, I just probably wouldn't date her either. But I'm not saying she's bad as she is. It's just a thing with me where I 
want a little bit more femininity and a little bit more, you know, a softer, a softer side woman. So uh, that's just what I would say. But, you know, probably to avoid that, I probably just wouldn't date her either. But uh, but not, nonetheless, I think she is a, a great woman. Uh, I mean, she will make another guy who not looking at that type of stuff very happy, at least I think. So that being said, uh, she has a total of 20 points. Um, hit the like, hit the share, hit the subscribe, especially the subscribe and hit the like. All right. It's, it's free. I promise y'all. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace. You guys figure it out and I'll see you later. <laughs> Who you talking to? You say what they want, but can't. I say what you think, but won't.